It's time for our 830 High Beam, and we are privileged to welcome in today Robin Waltz, who is the Executive Director of United Way of Tuscarawas County. And Robin, uh, welcome in. Good morning. How are you today? I'm well. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure for sure. So we wanted to get to talk to you again because uh, I know the United Way uh, campaign for the season kind of kicked off early last month. Seems like it was a few days ago, but I guess it's been six <laughs> or seven weeks. But um, so how's it going? It's going It's going well. Um, uh, our campaign leadership this year uh, is uh, uh, Bruce James. He is our campaign leader, and he's being assisted this year by Mitch and Kylie Kendall. And um, they're, they're just doing a wonderful job. They have a whole team that's kind of canvassing the um, the community, letting them know what United Way does and, and, and why we need um, funding. Um, you know, uh, the United Way is is funded by the community. Uh, we receive no federal or state funding, um, so the money that's raised here stays here. So um, we're just uh, really happy to have, have them um, help us spread the word. Oh, no question. And that's the way the United Way campaign works, right? I mean, you're there all the time, but you have uh, lots of things to do. But the campaign that we're all as familiar with is um, done through volunteer work. Absolutely. Yeah, we couldn't do it without our volunteers. Uh, the camp, the United Way staff is two people: myself and Susan Rydenball. And um, we, you know, we we administer um, the programs that um, our volunteer board of directors, you know, um, makes the decisions on. And um, they're a wonderful board. We have 19 board members, and um, we're happy to work with them. And they do wonderful, wonderful work. We. Um, we, we keep statistics and, uh, you know, we've helped over 15,000 people, uh, you know, I'm looking at last year's statistics, um, in the, in the, uh, county. That's amazing. And, uh, mm-hmm. it comes through how many different entities? I mean, that's split up a lot of ways. It is. We have, um, 18 different programs that we fund. Um, and those programs, um, are such, you know, uh, community and school-based mentoring programs. We have rent mortgage utility assistance programs, uh, scholarship programs for Girl Scouts and the YMCA. Uh, we have a retired and senior volunteer program. We have uh, two meal programs, a senior nutrition program, as well as mobile meals that we fund. We also fund Harbor House Domestic Violence Shelter, the River Haven Residential Treatment Center. Uh, we also fund prevention services in the school systems uh, for drugs, tobacco, and alcohol, tr- you know, tr- um, sorry, um, prevention education, and that's through um, Ohio Guidestone and uh, T4C, but we do fund those programs um, as well as the Clinic for the Working Uninsured, the Child Advocacy Center. Uh, we have a, a gasoline voucher program that we fund. Um, we also have the uh, Dolly Parton Imagination Library, right, right, uh, which is you know free books for all the ra- all all children in Tuscross County are eligible zero to five years old. You can get a, a book a month in your mailbox, and by the time a child starts kindergarten, they should have 60 books in their library. So we're really excited about that program. And we currently have over 3,000 children enrolled, so we're at 54% of our population, which we have exceeded the goal for the state of Ohio. The state of Ohio's goal was 50%, so we're at 54 so we're really happy about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We're, that's a great program. Um we also um, have a volunteer income tax assistance program that, uh, before you know it, we're going to be out there <laughs> <laughs> promoting that. Um, but we have a, a whole slew of volunteers who are IRS certified that will do taxes for free for residents of Tuscross County. Um, uh, that is and, called VITA. We talked about that on the air yeah. uh, last year, uh, just as it was kicking off. And uh, yeah. you had how many people use that uh, service last year free of charge? Um, uh, almost 900 people. Oh. Uh, yeah, we and and you know we have we've already made our appointments this year appointment times. And we can do 1,200, so we can do more. Okay. Um, and uh, it's a great service. You know, we we uh, you know looking at the stats, we returned over 1.1 million dollars back into the community mm. to you know to our donors, to our neighbors, to our friends, and um, it's just a wonderful program. And we're, we're excited to do it again for another year. Um, so, you know, people should be on the lookout probably in January, getting some more information about that program. I would imagine. So we'll, we'll be looking for that here. So is, uh, the campaign is involved now and, and you're looking for 
donations and so forth. Mm -hmm. There's something that uh, people can do at their individual um, homes or businesses to kind of mm -hmm. help this along? Absolutely. Um, many businesses offer payroll deduction, and that's really our bread and butter, um, that uh, we're so uh, pleased to have the partnership with so many local organizations that offer that to their employees. So we encourage everyone to, to participate uh, if their employer offers that, um, because it's, it comes out of your pay, you know, once, once a pay, um, and your donation combined with all of your coworkers makes a huge impact on on the the uh, campaign, and if uh, you are uh, your employer doesn't offer it or you're not working, um, you can make a donation at our website TuscanUnitedWay.org. Um, hit the donate button. Um, people often mail in checks as well, and we would love that. Um, it's uh, Tuscross County United Way, uh, PO Box five two five, New Philadelphia, Ohio four four six six three. And I know it's campaign time, but I'm assuming you would accept that, those donations at any time of the year. We do. We do. And, and things have, you know, things change. You know, we, we really uh, work with the employers and, and work with people. Um, you, know, th you know, sometimes the fall isn't the right time for the employer to have a campaign. Mm -hmm. They'd rather have it in the spring. That is fine with us. That, that, you know, we, it, it, is, it is kind of evolving into a year-round um, uh, campaign because our programs run year-round. So, um, uh, we're 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 trying to be flexible. <laughs> well, the United Way of Tuscarawas County. I don't know how long it's been around. Uh, you've been there for several uh, years, and uh, it's uh, it's a staple. It is a staple, and I'm glad you asked that question because this is our 80th birthday. Um, we started in 1942, so this is our 80th year, and um, we're just uh, pleased as punch to be here. We, I mean, <laughs> we we have. Um, um, been through, you know, this started as a as a community war chest. Yes. Um, so uh, the United Way has been here through thick and thin with this community, and we're we're just happy to be part of it. I've been here almost ten years, which is surprising to me. You know, time flies, mm -hmm. and um, it's just a wonderful organization. I I was a part of it with my previous employer, and uh, through the campaign, and um, you know, I, I think people can really feel. Um, comfortable with any donation that they make to the United Way. Um, we're fully transparent. You can look on our website and you can see where all donor dollars go. Right. And uh, we like that it stays right here. So, and thank Absolutely. you for your service too, by the way. It, uh, oh, it well. needs good leadership to, so that it can continue. I mean, it does. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Well, we appreciate having you on this morning too. So um, we'd like to have you back sometime, maybe get another update. How long does the Absolutely. official campaign last then? Usually uh, we wrap up in February. So, um, yeah, have me back, and hopefully I'll have some great news to tell you. We'll, we'll look for some high numbers. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robin. Hey, thanks a All lot. Right. Have a uh, good you. rest of the week and a good rest of the campaign as well. Thank you very much. Thanks You're for You're welcome. That is Robin Waltz, who is the Executive Director of the United Way of Tuscarawas County. Here is our guest on the 830 High Beam on the BT Morning Show.